Welcome. In this video, we will learn how to perform the Anderson Darling normality test in Microsoft Excel. So let's begin. Here we have the sample values. This is the data. Here we have 40 samples. Now we need to sort this data. But before sorting this data, I want to assign each of them a number so that if I want to go back, I can go back easily. So if I double tap here, it has automatically assigned these numbers to this data. And now let's sort this data, select both of these columns. And now go to this data tab. This is sort. So select this sort. Here in this sort by we need to select the sample value because we are select uh, we are sorting this sample value. And here we need to select the values. So I am selecting the cell value and in this order tab we need to select the smallest to largest so this data has been sorted from smallest to largest and now let's assign uh, this sorted data a number just like we have done previously but this time this is the sorted data so I've assigned these uh, ranks to them and now it's time to calculate this plotting position Plotting position is basically a number that helps us place each data point correctly on a special graph. And the formula is written down there. Rank minus 0 0.5 whole divided by n. So this is our rank. Minus 0 0.5 from the formula. Close the bracket divided by this n. Which is the count of this uh, whole sample values. We can manually select it like this but I don't prefer this method. I have another method for this which is more efficient. Just click on backspace, type count, double tap to select this count and just select this whole column. Because in future we can change uh, the sample count so we can change it easily. It will automatically work. Just double tap and here we have the plotting position. And now it's time to calculate uh, the sample mean now. To calculate the sample mean we have a formula just click here equal average equal average double tap to select average and select this whole sample data then press enter button and here we have the sample mean and now we also required to calculate the standard deviation so now let's calculate the standard deviation equal std ev and since we have the sample values so i'm going with the second option dot s double tap to select this and now we need to select the sample values again select this whole data press enter button and here we have the standard deviation and now it's time to calculate this expected normal value this is basically the value we expect if the data follows a normal curve. So now let's calculate it. Sometimes we have error while uh, calculating it because we make a mistake. So I'm making a mistake and then I will tell you how. This is norm.inv and here are the argument guys. In probability we need to select this plotting position data comma mean we now mean is this one and comma standard deviation this one press enter button and when I just drag it down and here we have the error now let me fix it and tell you what is the error so that you guys don't get these error just clear it and now this is the correct method equal norm.inv the same thing and while selecting the mean and standard deviation, I will press the F4 key from keyboard. Mean, press F4 key. And here we have the dollar signs. Basically, this keeps the mean value constant. And now do the same thing with the standard deviation. Select the standard deviation value, press F4 key. And now they are locked. Press enter button. And now if I extend it, here we have the values without any error. So now it's time to plot it for that. I need to select these two columns press control button and select these two columns go to insert and here we have the scatter plot select this one and here we have 
the normal curve and that's how we perform the anderson darling normality test in microsoft excel if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching